In this video, we're going to look at another little math scheme that will really help with that mental maths and that addition. We're really going to think about using games that are around the house that we can actually use. Now, I have just made this little board, a little Connect Four board, based on the idea of the game Connect Four, where you drop the little coins in, you get four in a row. This took me two minutes. I literally just made up a range of numbers and I wrote them down. And the idea is that we use two dice, we throw the dice, we add those two numbers together, we color it in and we aim to get four in a row, to connect four, okay? So again, something that you can just make really, really quickly and that's, you've got the stuff lying around the house, but that's really meaningful and that can actually really help your child practice those little math skills. Okay, so Aaron, so what we're gonna do is, we've got two dice. Now I've actually got one with numbers and one with dots. Just to the, keep that variety going for that number recognition and also that visual representation. And um, so what you're gonna do is you have to throw the two dice like this. Okay, you have to see what two numbers you've got. So what two numbers did I have? Five and one. And we have to add those together. So what is five and one? Six. And you have to find a six on the board and then you colour it in in your colour. What colour are you going to be Blue. today? Blue. and I'm going to be pink, okay? Mm -hmm. So then you colour in a six and then you try to try and get four in a row, okay? Mm -hmm. But it's not just as easy as getting four in a row. You have to get the right numbers, okay? Mm -hmm. So would you like to go first? Mm -hmm. Okay, so just let your child go first let them have a wee go and see how they get on. Again, this can be used for multiplication, it can be used for division, it can be used for subtraction, but we're just going to use it for addition today. Okay, what are you going to get? Let's see. Ooh, what two numbers? Four. Well, you haven't got four. What have you got? I've got... What do you mean? Well, what have you got in your dice? It doesn't say four. It says... Two. Two plus... Two. Which is the same as what? It's the same as four. Yeah, it is. Two plus two equals four. So you have to find a four and colour it in. Is this the one you're going to go for? Okay, that's one blue splodge for Aaron. Okay, right, Mummy's turn. Ooh, six and five. So I'm going to put six in my head and I'm going to count on five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, I think I'll have this 11 up here. Okay, right, your turn. Now make sure you're double checking mummies as well in case I make a mistake. Okay, off you go. What have you got? It's five and four. Five and four. How are you going to do this? I know 5 plus 5 equals 10. Good. So 5 plus 4 must equal 9. <gasps> good boy, really good using your number facts. Well done. Okay, so can you find a 9 that's near the one you've just coloured in? Really encourage your child to use those number facts and use those known facts. And it's great to see Aaron starting to put that into practice. That's what you really want to encourage and that's what you really want to focus on, especially in little activities like this. So. Is there, what about there, is it Yeah, that's what. That's near, on isn't a strip. it? Mm hmm. Okay, right, it's Mummy's turn now. Let's see. Oh, two plus three. Well, I know I'm going to do the same as you. I know that three plus three must be six. So two plus three must be five. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. There's oh, a five. There's a, oh, there's a five that's near my 11. Okay, right, your turn. Okay. Ooh, seven. Ooh, six plus one, seven. Now I need to find a seven. That's close. Ooh, seven. Okay, nine. good. Okay, mommy's turn. Ooh, six and five. Well, I know that six plus six is 12. So six plus five must be 11. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, another 11. Oh, that's no good. 
No good. No good, because it's really far away, isn't it? Time to go. I wonder if I get 11. Mm -hmm, maybe you could get 11. What have you got? Ooh, four and five. How are you going to work that out? Four plus five. I already got one of these, which is a nine. Good. So you already remembered that answer? Mm -hmm. Well, have you got another nine near you? I can't find any nine. Mm -hmm. Third one. Okay. But it isn't actually a near mine. It's a, it's, a, it's a near mine a bit. You see? That was about the, that far. Mm -hmm. And now it's the same yeah. far. Yeah. So. But that might block mummy, mightn't it? Yeah. Okay, right. Five plus one is six. So six. Mm, here's a six. Oh no, here's a six right beside my eleven. Mm. <gasps> Your turn. I hope I get an eleven. What two numbers would you need to get eleven? Ooh. Hmm. So. That's, I know that four plus, four plus five equals nine. Mm -hmm, but that's not four plus five, is it? What's that? That's, um, four plus, well, I know that four, that two plus three equals five. Mm -hmm. Four plus two must equals six. <gasps> Is there a six near you? There's a six there. What about that one? Yeah. <gasps> what does that mean? I'm, I'm about to win. You're about to win. What do you need to win? Just need to get, get a ten. So how could you get a ten? What two numbers would you need to get a ten? Two numbers. On your dice? Six. Six and four. Or? Or five and five. Mm -hmm. Or? Is there any other one? Or four and five. Mm, which I mean four and six. Yeah. What about seven and three? Could you get seven and three? Yeah. Could you on a dice? Yeah. Is there a number seven on a dice? No. So do you think you could get seven and three? No. no. So again, really just having that conversation with your child and really getting them to predict their scores as well, taking that little step further. We're going to play on here and see if we can, one of us can get four in a row, but I think Aaron's a wee bit closer than I am. But just another little fun game that you can make at home and that's really, really interactive and really starts to practice those math skills and start those mathematical conversations. Thank you.